blessing, peace and blessings, Gerald Hassan. Enlighten the minds in the private to shift your perspective, man. We're going to do a little bit of interviewing today. Now, I got the uh, the young gunner, man, the up-and-coming young model out of H-Town. Houston's finest, man, you know. Rising, doing his thing, looking well. Trevon Smith, man. Yeah. Trevon Smith Childress. Uh, Jerron Children Smith. Hi, which one is it? Yeah, that <laughs> okay. Children Smith. Man. Okay, all right, all right, all yeah. right. So how is everything going with you? Everything good. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Right. I can't complain too much. That's what's up, man. That's yeah. what's up. That's what's up. Um, you know, I, I'm uh, I follow you on on the gram, and uh, I noticed that you know you have you definitely doing your thing. You putting out some good looks. You know I what I'm saying? That. I think that. you're gonna really uh, get out there and do what you need to do, and and be the next factor in the modeling world. You know. Appreciate that. That's the plan. You feel for me? Sure, for Take sure. it further than that. All right. So let's let, let me. I got a few questions for you. So we are gonna start here with um. All right. So I'm as just for the world. You know, I already said where you're from, but I'm gonna say it again. So where you from and uh, how old are you? I'm 21. I'm from Houston. You know. Grew up a little bit on the southwest side, then moved to Spring. You feel me? But I be all around though. I be everywhere. Yeah. Okay. 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 So, uh, all right, so uh, what made you start modeling? True, honestly, what made me start modeling, I really didn't even want to model at first. Like, like at first, I wanted to act, and I thought that was going to be my, my route, but, you know, I had just got these braces, and, you know, that was messing with my confidence a little bit, you know, so I was like, let me see what this modeling about, you know, modeling, you don't have to do too much smiling. So, you know, just got threw up in that mix and it started working for me, so I just ran with it. What's up, man? You got yeah. them doors open, man. Just kick it in. Who knows, man? Yeah. One platform to the next, you know? So, uh, okay, so, um, and, and how long you been doing it? Sure. i say, let me see, since like last, last, Last September, October, kind of. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. It ain't okay. even such a whole year yet. Right, 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 all right. Okay, well, you know, I'm um, I'm aware of the New York Fashion Week that y'all had. Right. With your agency. How was that? Hey, that was, that was the truth. Like, that was my first time ever leaving Houston. Right. right. I had never been to Austin, San Antonio. Right. So first time out was the New York. So right, out the state. Yeah, yeah, I was feeling that. Yeah, so I ain't never been to New York myself, so I got out there. You know, it was besides the weather, everything was cool because you know, being yeah. from down south, we weren't feeling that that fifty and forty degree weather. But it was a cool experience, you know. Like I feel like the environment was like. The environment and the tempo was just a real upbeat, right. get up and go, go, you know what I'm saying? Go, go yeah. make something happen type yeah. of, you know, So feel. real energetic up there. Right, right. Okay. Like any time of the night, you go outside, people walking around, you know. Yeah, they say that night like real up there, man. Yeah. All right, uh, so um, any, any, uh, any, like, any particular models you, you want to work with that you, you know, sure. I say famous is is two of them. One one dude named Broderick Hunter. He was like the first model I kind of found, like found out about. Mm -hmm. And I say the other one is Keith Powers. He an actor and a model too. Well, both of them do acting and modeling, but started off modeling. And then I say like out the city, uh, one of my one of my homeboys actually, my homeboy Jordan. Okay. He really he was modeling before me, so I, I wanna get some shoots in with him, get some work with him, and also another dude out of uh, Houston. He doing the big Mo City JB. Shout out to him. I wanna work with him too. You know, he real dope. What was the name again? Mo City JB. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. All right. Now, you heard uh, uh oh oh um I guess one of the most famous uh, male male models in the past, old Tyson Bell. Oh huh? yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, that, that. Yeah, of course. Everybody know about him. I used to be compared though with Tyson Bell from back in the day. Y'all say it. Okay, uh, so uh, so uh, let's see. Uh, so, what have you learned so far? What you say, the modeling game? Modeling, it's really, it's really done taught me like 
as far as in the business in the business aspect that when it comes to them negotiations, it gotta be business first. Like oh, yeah. you gotta like I remember I heard Nipsey say in an interview, like you gotta beware of like friendly negotiation vibes. And that's really true because right. until we establish something, like, you know, what's better for you is worse for me. You know, so I had learned that and it's just like don't don't be afraid to, to stand your ground and be firm on what you want, you know. That's what's up, man. Yeah. So that taught me that and, and and above all else, like it just like I learned to that you gotta really you gotta really be comfortable in who you are. Right. Cause judges and designers, they might tell you they don't like your look, you feel me, but you gotta take it with a grain of salt, you know. So right. Right. like you can't take nothing too personal. You just gotta keep moving. Straight up, straight up, straight up. So, uh, what would you say would be your ultimate goal, or you know, your end game as far as your career is concerned? Ultimate goal, really? I see modeling is kind of a stepping stone, you know. Right. Like, um, it's it's gonna it's gonna propel me to to bigger heights and get my name out there, you know, get my face out there, and you know, get me where I want to be, you know, financially and things. But ultimately. I want to use that. So once I once I get to a certain like level, I'm, I think I'm gonna always model. And it's safe to say that you know, like modeling and acting, that's gonna I want to make that like my main two things, mm -hmm. you know. And I want to take what I get from like the monetary status, you know, and put that into some investments and all them types of things. Mm -hmm. So ultimately. I can have multiple sources of income, you right. know, and then my biggest thing, really, I feel like my purpose is to, is to help people similar to me, you know, so whether it be somebody who in a poor environment or in a middle class environment, or they might be in a, in a more rich environment, but they might have the same mind that I got when it comes to doing certain things, you feel me, like, I feel like, because Everybody don't want to rap, you know. Everybody, sure. everybody can't uh, can't go to the league, you know what I'm saying? And I never thought I would have been a model like a few years ago. So I, I feel like it'll just be a, a cool blueprint for people to look at and be like, okay, like that might be something I can do. Or if that is something they want to do, then they gonna be like, okay, he did it, you know. I can follow what he did, and, you know, look to his example. Right, 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 right. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so, um, hmm, I mean, I think this, first of all, before I go on to my next question, I think it's very, uh, definitely be at your age, I think it's a very mature mindset that to be thinking about, you know, even things in, you know, long-term wise, and the way you're thinking about it in regards to investment, and, I mean, just the whole business aspect of all of it, you know, so, definitely, man, big ups to you on that. Appreciate it. And, um. Okay, so my last question would be, so what what would you say was your like biggest or your best moment, you know, so far in this time this short time frame? Ooh, yeah, let me see. It's honestly, I think Ooh, that's tough. Okay, I got like a, I got three three different moments tied, kinda. Okay. My first one would be when I signed to an agency, because when I first came into it, I heard so many different stories of how it took people forever to find an agency, and they paid all this money and didn't get signed. So that felt good, because it was like, okay, like, right. I just got in, boom, you right. know, they see something, right. you know what I'm saying? Right. And i say, my other one was when I walked in my first show. And it was a big show because everybody at the agency, all the male models at the agency was auditioning for it, but they wasn't getting called back for it. And they were signed models at the time. So me, I wasn't even signed when I had got uh, booked for it. And when I went back to the agency for one of my modeling classes, it was like, it was like, uh, you made the, the show, you know what I'm saying? It was like, that's a big deal because all the signed models didn't make it. So that made me feel like, okay, like, I'm really in my lane, you know? 
And then the third one was, of course, New York Fashion Week. It's like, just to get there a couple months after I start modeling, you know. And I'm, I'm real grateful. I feel like I haven't said it, or I haven't said it enough to the people who I went with and, like, helped me get there. But I'm real grateful that, like, they was a part of that journey. Right. You know? That's what's up, man. And that, you know, that whole gratitude piece, I just believe is very profound, you know. And I try, to, I just try myself to always, you know, say thank you, man, because... I mean, I know it feels good when somebody tell me thank you. Especially right. if it's something that I just really, you know, I done. You know, I mean, it's just, even though you might not even do it for that, it just right. feel, you know. Yeah. Especially when you know somebody's really, really grateful. So, you know, it's just, I think that the universe just gives you more when you like that. So, uh, yeah, because sometimes I don't yeah. be, man, I yeah. be sometimes like, I try to stay humble as, as, as best I can, try to stay yeah, grounded. Too. Yeah, man. But yeah, it be too. times I be wanna, you know, I be wanna talk my talk, but I don't though, you know. I mean, but I think it's cool. I think you young, know, I think you can still do that. I just think that in, in between, I mean, because you need a little both, you know, but in, in between, because sometimes people can take that gratitude and, and try to sl enslave you with it right, too. So right. it have to be a little bit of both, you know. Right. Yeah, I'm grateful, but at the same time, you yeah. still. It's like, I don't owe you, I'm not, I'm not like trying to do no extra stuff I don't have to do, you know what right. I'm saying? So it's right. like, you still you, you still yeah, got, yeah. you know, you still have your own walk, you still have your trust into, in you, who you are, and your ability, so right. it's like, yeah, for sure, man, I don't, you know, I mean, so it's like, it's a balance of the two, of the cockiness, because that can, that's going to make you push forward, people say you can't. Yeah. But then yeah. the other little piece, when you see, I'm humble, I'm grateful though, because yeah. like you say, so many other people have tried it and they didn't come on, but I did. And also to double back to one of the questions you asked me about what I learned is that that taught me, like modeling taught me about myself, like, because going into it off the rip, I knew like if I was trying to do it to impress people, to impress girls or you know right. stuff like that it wasn't gonna work because right. once i hit a roadblock i knew like i was gonna be like ah it ain't it mm -hmm. but i kind of found that through like perseverance you know once you get over them humps it's like like dang like you know it's kind of like it's like you breaking the barrier each time so right right which yeah but okay that was just that was just real big to me because I, I had I don't know I just caught that in myself it was like I know I can get to where I want to be as long as I stay persistent with it you know stay uh, diligent that's what's up man that's what's yeah. up well hey I appreciate doing the interview for you oh, Mr. Trevon Children Smith appreciate it appreciate um, up and coming supermodel I'm yeah. just gonna hit and just Call it out there. Look out for me, supermodel, actor, you know, actor, business all that, man, you know, all man. that, you know. So, man, I, hey, man, I wish the best for you. And, um, again, man, peace and blessings. I hope everybody, you know. No doubt, no doubt. Peace.